Welcome back everybody, Robert with Occupancy Boost. I wanted to shoot a quick video on how to set up different rate plans in your system in booking.com. A lot of hotels want to know how to run a weekly rate plan, um, a length of stay promotion, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's a real simple, simple procedure in the booking.com extranet. It takes less than five minutes. Stay tuned. I'm going to switch screens to show you guys how to get this done. Okay, I'm in the booking.com extranet. <clears throat> Excuse me, and the tab that I'm on is right here under rates and availability, and we're under rate plans. So you just click on rate plans. And they give you a lot of different rate plan um, suggestions that I think the most popular ones that you can set up, like a fully flexible rate, late rate plan where guests can cancel for free. Um, it's kind of a way to boost, boost your booking revenue so you're not tying people into a particular cancellation. Um, Non-refundable, this is a pretty good one. Um, it's another way to reduce your cancellations. You just take, you're taking the money up front. You can always give them a little bit of a discount. Let's face it, you know, anytime we say rate plans and words like fully flexible and non-refundable, uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a discount to the guests. But these are a way to attract, um, you know, more guests to your hotel and, and open up your hotel to a lot more variety than just booking just a standard, you know, flat rate all the time. And the ones I like to use the most, or actually the one that, that I use the most, is this weekly rate plan. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to kind of show you guys how that works. But before I do that, I want to show you where the, these show up in your extranet. So let me go back here. Um, and the tab I'm on here is calendar. So I just went back to rates and availability again, and then I went to calendar. And this is where all your rate plans are housed right here. And I'm sure you guys, a lot of you guys are probably aware of that, like the different room types, and then it shows the rate plans. Now this particular hotel only has one rate plan loaded, and that is their, um, just their, their standard rate right here, the standard rate. So if I were to add, go in there and add a weekly rate, and this is a brand new property we just started working with, but if I was to go in there and add a weekly rate or a non-refundable rate, it would show up right here and it would show you the price every day depending on what, what you know, discount you picked. And I'm going to show you guys that in the next example. So that's where they show up. So you can kind of monitor what your prices are. You can also, you know, um, monitor your bookings as well. Um, and I'll show you where that's at, that's at also. So going back here, we're going to add the weekly rate plan to this hotel. And weekly rate plans have to be on a seven night stay, so we just keep the seven nights. Um, we can you can either do this refundable or non refundable. Um, you can use a cancellation policy of um, of non refundable if you want. Um, it depends on what you want to do. I'm just going to keep it flexible for now. And you can include meals or not include meals. It depends on how your hotel operates your meal program. Um, you can do value adds in there and. <clears throat> How many days before check-in? I always let people, you know, obviously with a rate plan like this, I let them just pick it anytime they want. There's no particular set number of days. Your hotel may be, or motel may be different. And um, you can set it up as a new rate plan. So, uh, I'm sorry, you, you go in here and set it up as underneath your standard rate. So it's gonna feed off of your standard rate plan. And on here, how you'd like to manage the rate plan. If you're using a channel manager and you want to set this up as a new rate plan, you're going to have to, I just clicked on that set up as a new rate plan. You're going to have to map this to your channel manager. Um, I always like to run these just off a current um, rate plan that's already set up because I'm running these at a discount. Let me kind of, I know that might be kind of confusing. Let me show you what that means. So I'm going to click on this bottom one based on one of my current rate plans. And as I showed you in, in the last screenshot, let me go back to that. The only rate plan that's built for this hotel right now is this standard rate plan, okay? That's the only rate plan that they have built out. So I'm gonna run this off of that because this weekly rate is actually gonna be lower than my standard rate and I'm gonna do it on a percentage basis. So going back here, you just I just click on based on one of my current rate plans. My only rate plan to run it off of is standard rate. If there are other rates open, like this weekly rate, once I open this up, I'll be able to run other discounts, maybe a monthly rate off of my weekly rate plan. So I'm going to base it off my my current uh, my my standard rate plan, and then I ask you how much of a commission, or I'm not commit, I'm sorry, not commission. How much of a discount do you want to give off the standard rate plan? 
Um, typically, you know, obviously people are staying for a week, they're going to get a better rate. Okay, so instead of you having to go in there and load this, a different rate every single day, it's easier for you just to run it off of a, a discount off your current rate plan, which is your standard rate plan in this case. So I would do this one probably, um, I've already looked at this at 25% off. So if somebody wants to book the hotel for a week or longer, I'm going to do it at 20, I'm going to give them a 25% discount for that. And I'm going to run it on all my room types. Now you can choose to run it on just your doubles if you want, or just your kings. If you're, if you have a low inventory, most of your rooms in your hotel are, are kings are the most popular room type booked is king. And you want to kind of save those and not book those, get those booked for weekly rates or tie them up. You can just run it on your, your double or your two queen beds. And then it asks you what you'd like to name this rate plan. And you say weekly rate and hit review. And anything you want to go in there and edit before you run this, there's actually nothing. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And then I'm going to activate this rate plan. Okay, and here we are. This is set up. So I went back to our screen here. And <clears throat> all of our rooms have the weekly rate plan. And it shows you what the rate is for each one of those days. So it took automatically took the 25% off that we had loaded. And it shows you what that rate is every single day. So it's loaded in there. It's that simple. Uh, now you can monitor this. If you ever want to go back there and you want to take a look at what how this is producing for you, you can go back in there to rates and availability, go to rate plans, and all your rate plans are, are listed in there. And that weekly rate plan, it's going to tell you again how much that is, and it's going to show you how much uh, that's producing. So once you start getting bookings for this, you can go in here every so often you can go in every 30 days, which you can see right here, it shows your, your bookings every 30 days, three months, six months, so on and so forth, okay? So if I want to edit this rate plan, I just click on that down arrow and I click edit. And I can go in there and I can update this at any time. If I decided that I want to change... Um, the minimum stay to 14 days, I can, or to 10 days, I can do that. If I want to change a percentage off, which is what most people would do, I can change that to, uh, I could change that to 20%, or I can ra even raise it up to 30%. Go ahead and apply the changes, and it would all be, it all reflect back there on that calendar, and then you can start monitoring under, you know, your change. But that's it. Pretty simple video. Um, I do get some questions on this every once in a while. I want to know. People want to want to run a weekly rate and that type of thing, but uh, that's how you do it.